In Lama Tsongkhapa's great treatise on the stage of the path to enlightenment, in the section on reflection of the process of cyclic existence in terms of origin, we find three categories in the outline. How the afflictions arise, how you thereby accumulate karma, and how you die and are reborn. Rinpoche completed the section on how you thereby accumulate karma today. Chibundinka, で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、で、
uh, categories. Um, uh, the, the first category is how the afflictions arise. Uh, the second category is uh, how you thereby accumulate karma. Uh, and then the third category is how you die and then are reborn. Uh, so these are the three categories that uh, we'll go over in that section. Uh, so uh, we've already gone over, uh, so when we look at uh, the first category of how the afflictions arise, there's four categories, identifying the afflictions, the order in which the afflictions arise, the causes of the afflictions, and the faults of the afflictions. So we've completed that section. Uh, now we're in the section on how you thereby accumulate karma. Uh, so. Uh, Everybody wants to turn to, uh, I think it's 304, that's where uh, we're going to begin, I believe. Nicha Sunchu Sunjay. 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 Okay. Sunchu Sunjay Uli Yazibye. Lasa. Chin Jibat Lulun. Lasa. Jibat Wa. Niba Tesubi Suisa. Marba. Tali subsidio della Sabra Gele, Mosmo, Tajeta subsidio, Tasaba Gele, Mosmo, Tala, and then Sabile, Tasabile, Marbe, Sabile, Tasabile, Sabile, Sabile, the Egile, Sabile, the Lutanagile, or the Casore, Sabra Gele, Mosmo, Catu, what he barret. Lelegi ten hazuje ten samba tante samba ijele in teji lutanga kles what is sambi le ten sabi le ni ten wasare so uh, so page 303 is actually where we're going to start so on 303 we see, we have uh, the category of how you thereby accumulate karma uh, that's the major heading. Uh, so the first uh, category is identif identifying the karma that you accumulate. Uh, so there are two types of karma uh, that one accumulates. First, the karma that is uh, intention, uh, and then the second category is karma that is intended action. Uh, so karma that is intention is necessarily a mental karma, and karma that is intended action is necessarily a physical karma of the body uh, or speech. Uh, so we find Basu Bandhu, uh, explains it uh, in the Treasury of Knowledge where he states karma is both intention and what intention produces. Intention is mental karma, what it produces are physical and verbal karma. Um, so sometimes they say physical karma, body, speech, uh, um, or, or they say physical uh, and speech. Um, so physical here in this case means the body, karma of the body. <laughs> So please uh, read after me in the great treatise. Um, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 Copper Nebba 
ยืนตะคอเพ่งยืนตะเจกเลสบะยอมาเรสเนพะบะมาเอ็มเบเนพะบะมาเอ็มบะซุซุบะยอมาเรสพะบะซุซุบะเมเตเคเบตินี่ท
uh, um, causes for more cyclic existence. They do engage in uh, karma or action or activity that will create more uh, of samsara. Um, so unwise is referring to those who are not Aryas, those ordinary beings, and wise is referring to Arya beings. And it says uh, the wise do not because they see reality, that the wise have seen emptiness. So we also find uh, in the um, Abhidharma teachings where it says that uh, those who have seen the truth do not have um, this throwing karma or this propelling, projecting karma. Uh, so here this is speaking of superiors, those who have seen the truth, those who have had a direct perception of, of emptiness. Uh, so when we find that this root of this cyclic existence is our actions, uh, then uh, it, if those, act, um, it, those actions that create cyclic existence can only be created by, uh, um, can only be engaged in by an ordinary being who has not reached the level of the path of seeing. Did, did school. And then uh, it says also the master Basu Bandhu says, I just translated from Rinpoche's, but I just want to make sure I translate it right. When you have seen the truth, you are not impelled to rebirth. Uh, so this impelled to rebirth is that propelling karma, that projecting karma. The Dixon Rinpoche. Go get me a bit cheek. So in Jayan Sheba's outline, we find there are eight categories. Uh, and the first category among the eight is uh, that superior beings do not uh, accumulate the um, uh, um, karma that would propel uh, them into rebirth and cyclic existence. Uh, so this is Jayan Sheba's first category. Dixon. <laughs> So the second category is uh, if a superior being does not accumulate this type of activity or this type of karma, then who does? Pensage <laughs> Uh, Mutu Okay, um, so then the second category is uh, who, who accumulates this? So it says, consequently, as long as you operate under the influence of a conception of self, you will accumulate karma that will impel you into cyclic, uh, re cyclic rebirth. Once you have perceived reality and selflessness, you may still be reborn in cyclic existence by the power of form of karma and afflictions. 
but you will not accumulate any new karma that can impel such a rebirth. And then we have a quote from Asanga's level of yogic deeds that says, uh, stream enters and once returners do not assent to the conception of a self, but rather they reject it in the same way the strong overpower the weak. Uh, um, so, uh, Rinpoche stopped there. So, uh, it's stating that if you have if you still have a grasping at the true self, uh, so a uh, self of persons, uh, so if you still have a grasping at the true self of persons, uh, then you will accumulate karma that will cause cyclic existence. Uh, why doesn't a superior accumulate that karma? It's because he or she no longer has this grasping at the true self of persons. Uh, it says, uh, once you you once you have perceived reality, so here this is speaking of a direct valid cognition of emptiness, uh, um, the path of seeing or or higher. So um, when it's speaking of uh, this perception of reality, it means seeing emptiness directly. Uh, so once one sees emptiness directly, uh, then there's no longer this grasping at this true self of persons. If the grasping at the true self of persons isn't there, then there's no accumulation of, of new karma, so there's no potential for any new causes for cyclic rebirth to uh, be created. Um, but it says once uh, you may still be reborn in six existence by the power of form of karma and afflictions, uh, but you will not accumulate any new karma that can uh, impel such a rebirth. So, uh, you, no new karmas will create be created. No new causes for uh, cyclic rebirth are created. But there still are um, karmas that are present, uh, or causes that are present. Uh, for cyclic rebirth um, within the, even that superior's continuum. So there is still potential for rebirth in cyclic existence. There's still rebirth, rather, in cyclic existence. Um, uh, um, but it's not been created by that being once he or she has seen emptiness. Um, so uh, um, there was one other thing. Uh, so also... And, and the reason for this is that when one sees emptiness directly, uh, the afflictions really lose their ability. They lose their potency. Uh, therefore, the actions aren't created um, because of that direct perception of emptiness and the understanding of the, um, the non-grasping at true self. Um, uh, makes the afflictions really not potent. So, therefore, the actions that come from them uh, don't occur. So here, uh, where it's talking of uh, these uh, two categories of stream enterers uh, and once returners, uh, this is referring to um, divisions that uh, can be found in the um, uh, the, the hearer's vehicle. Um, so, uh, just give me one moment. So there are actually eight divisions uh, that can be found uh, of, of beings in the um, hearer vehicle. So it's, it begins with approacher to fruit of stream enter, uh, then abider in the fruit of stream enter, approacher to the fruit of, of once returner, uh, and abider in the fruit of once returner, then approacher to the fruit of a never returner, abider in the fruit of a never returner, uh, approacher uh, to the fruit of a foe destroyer, and then abider in the fruit uh, of a foe destroyer. Um, so these are the eight categories uh, um, of the hearer's vehicle as far as uh, superior beings uh, or aria beings. Um, so um, they're all approachers or abiders. Um, so it's a, again, approacher uh, to the fruit of stream enter, abider in the fruit of stream enter, approacher to the fruit of once returner, abider in the fruit of once returner, approacher to the fruit of never returner, abider in the fruit of never returner, approacher to the fruit of a foe destroyer, and abider in the fruit uh, of a foe destroyer. So 
Um, this goes through the, um, just as a translator's note, uh, those eight go through those last um, three pathways, of me, um, path of seeing, path of meditation, and path of no more learning, those eight categories. Kunshinjiji,你是真的可以的。如果平白线的拉线,你是真的可以的。如果平白线的拉线,你是真的可以的。如果平白线的拉线,你是真的可以的。如果平白线的拉线,你是真的可以的。如果平白线的拉线,你
uh, of persons. Um, uh, so and one is able to achieve liberation, one is able to achieve uh, complete Buddhahood. Um, so uh, I think that's it. If I missed anything, I apologize. But that's a quote from the um, uh, Matreya's uh, ornament for clear realization. Dig song ain't something which what <laughs> Quasi, <laughs> And <laughs> Okay, uh, so uh, so in this, it, it's speaking uh, in going back to Matreya's ornaments. Is that uh, that which through the exalted knower of all leads here is pass, uh, seeking pacification to peace? So those here is those solitary realizers abandon the conception of uh, true self of persons. They abandon this grasping at the self of persons. Uh, and by doing so, they no longer accumulate uh, the karma that would create cyclic existence. They no longer create any more of that karma. Um, and then the one that they have left uh, isn't coupled with those afflictions that are very potent. Um, uh, so therefore, um, they are creating new circumstances for cyclic existence. Um, and then the, uh, um, so that's what is meant there. And uh, uh, so if we combine it, you, why, why, you know, uh, does this work? Uh, why does this, this lead them to peace, to liberation? Because it leads them to a place where they no longer accumulate causes for it, cyclic existence. Um, so going back to the Lamrim Chembo, uh, it says, uh, it, um, hence every ordinary person from the highest level of the supreme stage of the Mahayana path of preparation on down accumulates karma that impels rebirth and cyclic existence. Uh, so when we look at the um, paths, uh, um, there are five pathways. Um, and translators note Hinayana and Mahayana. They have five pathways. But here, uh, um, 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 and when you look at the Heart Sutra, there is the mantra, Teata Om Gate Gate Paragate Parasangate Bodhisoha. Uh, and that mantra is referring to those five pathways. So the first Gate is referring to the path of accumulation, which is the first pathway. Second Gate referring to the path of preparation. Uh, paragate referring to the path of seeing. Parasangate uh, referring to the path of uh, meditation. And then Bodhisoha referring to the path of no more learning. Uh, so what this is saying is ordinary beings are found on the, uh, anything below the path of preparation. So the path of accumulation is the first path, uh, and there are three levels, uh, the small, uh, medium, and great levels. Uh, then the path of preparation has four levels, heat, peak, patience, and last mundane state. Uh, so these are the four um, levels of the path of preparation. So even when one is on that last mundane state at the, p the path of preparation, 
uh, there's still potential for rebirth in cyclic existence. I mean, the causes for rebirth in cyclic existence to be created. Uh, so any any ordinary person, an ordinary person is uh, um, qualified by having not transcended that last path of, of preparation, uh, uh, last mundane state, or uh, below it. Um, so that's what an ordinary person is. And once uh, one gets to the next level beyond that, that's at the path of seeing, and one is then an aria or a superior person. Um, so it's saying anyone who hasn't gone past that is going to create causes for cyclic existence. Uh, Dixon <laughs> Okay. Okay. Melon <laughs> Tony <laughs> In the four categories of the path of preparation, he peak uh, patience in last mundane state. The first category of, is called heat um, because uh, the Wisdom, which is uh, uh, directly realizing emptiness, is very close. So you can feel the warmth um, of that direct perception of, of emptiness. So it's labeled uh, as heat uh, at that point. Uh, and also a heat is created by this um, single-pointed concentration, which is um, achieved of this union of calm abiding and uh, um, special insight with the um, uh, emptiness as its object of observation. Um, so this closeness, this heat is created by that single pointed concentration uh, and it's said that the uh, um, heat is like the warmth of that direct perception is very close. Uh, you have the single pointed concentration uh, but not, uh, which it has that object of observation, but not, there is no, not a direct perception at that point. So uh, the reason for this re uh, um, being called heat um, is because, again, that this direct perception of emptiness has not happened, uh, but there is this single pointed concentration that's creating this heat which is this closeness to the direct perception of it um, uh, that uh, it, it, um, 
That's it. It's creating the, this single pointed concentration, which is as emptiness as its object of observation, uh, is creating this closeness to the direct perception of that object of observation. Um, so uh, this is why it uh, is called heat at that fir first stage. <laughs> Yes, Okay. And then what is your answer about my two cons for number to the Nazunti or Mandua? So, peak uh, um, is at this level of the peak, which is second level. Uh, um, no one, uh, there's no longer any loss of one's root virtues. Um, so, one's root virtues aren't eradicated again at that point. And then at the, the stage of um, patience, one is no longer reborn into the lower realms of cyclic existence. What that then? What did you know? You know, what the Jiba Jiba touch you, Margaret. You should then say, you should then turn on the mother. The Jolan Suzuki tune on two to Jiba, two to Jiba. Okay, so the the final, which is the last mundane state, is that final state as an ordinary being uh, that will then uh, transform into an Arya being very uh, next. So the next thing that will be, uh, that being will be a superior an or, or an Arya. So it's the last mundane, the last state as an ordinary being. <laughs> Passion <laughs> Sheba my be with the Mamma Dubala Sano Tobata, Chabra Papa, Drew Temo. And a Drew Gozo and a Sheba my be with the Mamma Dubala Sano Tobares, Summer Gozo Sano Chabat Banders, Chabat Papa. Quay Archie in Jeroa. And a Zoba Gozo, Sheba the Mamma Dubala, Sano Tobares, Chuju Gozo. Sheba de Baba Rubala, Senna Sheba de Baba is what the lesson was at water, what the day Pashish do in a yard, a Kiru, the Jewish and not the Bala Yore. Sheba my in your Demba Drupa Tambo. Sheba my in be with the Mamma Ruba. The Baba Madubala may be Senna the Kadu Tubersena, you know, Trilgos Tubers, Shela from the Jing and two bases. Bless her. Some of the Chavat Hanin Jerwa. Sheba my yo madama madruba. Okay, then a nipa? Sheba? Tiny was Zubaro, Zuba, Sheba demo madruba, the Senna Tuba is the nipa, the Zubayama did. Nipa to a Zumuro. Zemo. Zemo, the you demo madruba, the you demo madruba, and the Senna Senna Tuba to a Maribe. Senna Chavat Havat Zemuro, Zemo. You old demo madrupa. Sheba my in you old demo madrupa. Then a you old demo madrupa. Then a Sheba my be malana jutuna you in charo, Louis Charo, you use it. Louis the Basha, you use it, and you use the Sheja to Jija or my bad. That's a awareness. Sheba him be you, Sheba my be you in his anton would do. That's a then a Sumba Sheba Sumba that and a Sheba the Roba Sheba. Sumba the Zupa Sheba demo madrupa. Sano Tubares, Zuba Gosso, Sheba de Mamma Ruba, Sano Tubare, Chuju Gosso, Sheba de Mamma Rubala, Sano Chabat Bavares, Tele Archimbe in Rota. 
the nature. Of what the nature wants to hear. So this is quite complicated. So it's from Kirtab Jay's a quote by Kirtab Jay, and it's found in the um, ja, Pension Sun and Drapa's general meaning perfection about how one differentiates between these four. Uh, categories, these four levels of the path of preparation. So if I could see it in text, I could probably go back to it and get it clearer. But if it's not clear, I really apologize. It's just very, it's beyond my uh, scope. Um, so uh, it's, say in, it's in Kirtab Che's uh, explanation of the four classes of Tantra. Um, and it, it states that uh, there is a um, understanding of a lack of true establishment um, that is the single pointed concentration has at its as its focus uh, that becomes more and more refined as one goes through that to the point where there is a direct perception of the um, um, emptiness of all of these different types of objects. So, as an example, the this uh, non conscious object, the lack lack of true establishment of uh, objects that are not consciousness. Uh, then the lack of true, um, uh, so this is the understanding of the lack of true establishment of objects that are not consciousness. Uh, and then there's the understanding of uh, uh, objects that, that are not, that, that it says Yule Demo Mandrupa. So then, oh no, then there's a more refined uh, understanding of objects, uh, lack of true establishment. Uh, of those uh, type of objects uh, which are not consciousness. And then the, at the level of patience, there's an understanding of the lack of true establishment of consciousness itself. Um, and then at the more refined level, there's a more refined understanding of the lack of true establishment of the consciousness, of this, the awareness uh, that takes place. Um, so again, I'd like to look that up um, before we put that in certainty, but um, I believe that that's uh, how it translates. So there's a, this direct valid cognition that's about to take place, uh, and then there are these uh, wisdoms that are created, these inferential valid cognitions that are created related to these varying objects, and, and then one has a direct perception of all of their emptinesses. Uh, so uh, that's what... Uh, um, uh, those four, how Kirtup J in Pension Sanandrapa's general meaning of perfection uh, differentiates between those four. Uh, so you would find this in the collected works of uh, Pension Sanandrapa and Kirtup J, but in all of the different texts you would find uh, these points made as well. Uh, so we'll take a short break and uh, uh, we have handout. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the co you what the new but drawing you, but then on co op and you, Jay, let's open up a teacher, you know. Chuju Chambula never made message Susu Ju Tanji Dos. That's Susu Jews, the Susu Ju Tendakaris, Susu Jews and Akasana, Palama to Gonzatela, Susu Ju Lagres, Papi Lama to Gonzatela Susu Ju. The name could you there, Susu Ju Gonzana, Papi Chu Matuba was the Sangake, could you go so, Susu Ju Gonzana, Papi Chu Matuba was. Jule, Lama to a Susu Jun de Dos, Panama to be Gonzatela, Susu Ju Yagres, what the Sadua, Susu Ju said, what the Niko Dua? In Tambo, the Papa, the long Tambo. Tambo de Tome. Papa Tomero, Papa Tome, Susu Conchina, Papi Chuma to Bows. Papi Chu. Um, so here it says, uh, hence every ordinary person from the highest level of the supreme stage of the Mahayana path of preparation on down accumulates karma that impels rebirth in cyclic existence. Um, so any ordinary being 
that is not a superior uh, creates karma, uh, engages in action that will create uh, more cyclic existence. So why, what is meant by uh, ordinary being? And we find in uh, a Sangha's text uh, that it says that an ordinary being is one who has not uh, achieved the um, Arya Dharma, or the Arya, yeah, the Arya Dharma, um, superior Dharma. Uh, and then we find also in the Abhidharma uh, uh, teachings where it says that um, the, an ordinary being is one who hasn't achieved a, a superior path. Um, so this is referring to um, uh, an ordinary being as one who is not an Arya, not a superior. Uh, so these are two places that we find uh, the same information as we find here about the accumulation of karma that impels one into rebirth. <laughs> So, so going back to Jayan Sheba's outline, uh, so the second category is uh, who who accumulates karma uh, for sick that will impel them into cyclic existence, uh, and then number three is what are the divisions uh, of karma, and then we find. Uh, uh, meritorious karma, non-meritorious karma, uh, and um, uh, um, non-varying, invariable uh, karma. It's called invariable karma. Invariable karma. Tao ko a page ng lela ina sumo yung roda. Ane suno maibili ting ay sumo page na marve. Suno jile ting tobi lahat ng dito page. May jile te zoo zoo may page jile ting marve. So number three is that uh, these um, activities, these actions which are meritorious are actions that will give rise to uh, rebirth uh, in the, the higher realms. Uh, and these non-meritorious actions are um, uh, give rebirth into the the lower into the lower realms, uh, and then invariable karma um, only goes uh, gives rebirth into the uh, form realm or formless uh, absorption realm. Uh, so, uh, uh, so I think that's it. Yeah. So that's it. So this is number three uh, in Jayan Sheva's uh, outline. The <laughs> So not the less agrees. Sadden the zoo may be said to be, and then she never so gone on there, may you lay so by your nose. What about the sumba today? Accordingly, when those who are under the influence of afflicted ignorance and the view of the perishing aggregates become physically, verbally, or mentally involved in non uh, in non virtue, killing, for example. They accumulate non-meritorious karma. Those who perform virtuous acts within the desire realm accumulate meritorious karma. And those who cultivate meditative states, such as meditative serenity, at the level of the meditative stabilizations of the form or formless absorptions accumulate invariable karma. What did you say? So again, the third category in Jayan Sheva's text deals with these three, uh, meritorious, non-meritorious, and invariable karma. Now we go to four. Uh, 
Quando Quando Pensa Ranga Quand Tellement Telle Okay, so we begin with the qualm. Um, so we got through with number three, uh, which dealt with meritorious, non-meritorious, and invariable karma. Uh, now we move on to more, number four, which uh, contains this section where there's a doubt that's presented and then a reply. Uh, so we'll look through that. Consider someone who has seen the faults of all worldly wonders and is motivated by an aspiration for liberation. Does not this person create much virtuous karma? 
Moreover, the, consider the virtuous karma that is an intention similar to a wisdom consciousness uh, accurately analyzing the meaning of selflessness. Is, it, is this a true origin, a cause of cyclic existence? Um, and then it says, uh, reply, in general, those who are on the paths of accumulation and preparation do accumulate ordinary karma that impels rebirth. However, motivations based on thoughts such as those you describe, as well as virtuous karma similar to the wisdom that analyzes selflessness, constitute the group of remedies for the craving for future existence. However, uh, in both their objective and subjective aspects, they operate in a manner contrary uh, to the conception of self, uh, the root of cyclic existence. Thus, they are not actual or usual true origins that impel rebirth. However, because they approximate actual true origins leading to a future rebirth, they are included among true origins. So here it's saying they are, uh, these are not actually true origins. Uh, they're just named as such, um, but uh, they aren't actually true origins because they are what serve as a remedy, serve as an antidote. Um, uh, therefore, they aren't an origin. They're actually a, a remedy, um, so or a, an opponent to the negativity. So uh, it's just uh, noted in here that the word origin related to them is not a true origin. Um, and then uh, it says, uh, it says similarly, uh, the compendium of determination says, uh, why are those mundane phenomena which eradicate the craving for rebirth and which produce the super mundane path that is not directed towards re toward rebirth included under the truth of origin. And then there's a reply. By nature, they are not directed towards rebirth in cyclic existence. However, they approximate the physical and mental and verbal good conduct which leads uh, to rebirth. Consequently, you should understand that on this account, they are included under the truth of origin. Think so. It is where... What does Jiba do with it, Kazuburi? Jiba the same Mingare. Jiba. Mingare. Jiba do with it, Kazuburi. Tanga Nugu Sambi is in the layer. Nugu Sambi is in the layer. Tony to be shared with what they were layer the raw. To look on Kunju Momaris, Kunju Momaina, Kunju 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 Divaris. Um, so here, if we're stating the um, mind of renunciation, the mind that uh, has this determination to be free, uh, or uh, the uh, wisdom, the uh, wisdom uh, looking at the um, the wisdom that understands the lack of true establishment or the wisdom of phenomena, the wisdom that understands emptiness, uh, even though they would cla be classified uh, under the category of true origins, uh, they aren't actually true origins because they lead to uh, the, a freedom from the future rebirth. Um, they serve as opponents to future rebirth, uh, but cate categorically they're uh, contained under true origins. Dixon. <laughs> And here, the next is that one should uh, accumulate the karma, uh, which is the wis wisdom of em understanding emptiness uh, and the wisdom uh, realizing selflessness. Uh, uh, one should accumulate these uh, karmas, uh, which are uh, that realize self, which are wisdoms that realize uh, selflessness, wisdoms that realize uh, emptiness, uh, 
Doni do be share then Dame do be then then somebody the guard is super in. And then the downfalls of cyclic existence. Uh, <laughs> What is okay, did they have a lot of cigarette? How long did they have a 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 cigarette? How long did but, so it says, um, Asanga says that careful, after careful reflection on the faults of cyclic existence, uh, you give rise to a sense of disgust that can motivate virtuous karma, which generates a supreme path, yet this karma approximate an origin of suffering in cyclic existence. Therefore, you must strive to develop the sense of disgust as well as the wisdom uh, that knows selflessness. Um, so, just going back to here, um, it, it doesn't direct the, the uh, uh, so, okay, so the number five is, uh, so just going back to five, because I think that I actually stopped in the middle of translating for, for number five, uh, when Rinpoche just said some more things. So, going back to five, it's going over uh, why the wisdom realizing selflessness and the wisdom realizing emptiness, uh, the, the wisdom realizing the faults of cyclic existence and renunciation uh, is necessary, uh, why, why it is needed uh, in order to um, uh, move forward. So that's number five. <laughs> So, so number five deals with uh, what I read first. Uh, Asanga says that after careful reflection on the faults of cyclic existence, you give rise to a sense of disgust that can motivate virtuous karma, which generates a super mundane path. Uh, so yet this uh, karma uh, approximates an origin of suffering in cyclic existence. Therefore, you must strive to develop this sense of disgust as well as the, the wisdom that knows selflessness. Uh, so it's here showing why it's necessary to uh, generate this uh, view of selflessness, uh, this dummy do be share, the wisdom realizing uh, the lack of true self, uh, and uh, also to have this disgust with cyclic existence, this desire uh, to definitely emerge. Um, and it says that um, you give rise to a sense of disgust that can motivate virtuous karma, which generates a super mundane path. So it's showing how virtuous karma, virtuous activity, generates an Arya path. Um, uh, it can be transformed into a superior path. Um, so number four is that uh, when we look at this um, uh, renunciation, uh, this understanding that the, the faults of cyclic existence uh, and this uh, wisdom that uh, ana analyzes uh, selflessness, the wisdom consciousness that correctly uh, analyzes selflessness, uh, um, are they causes of cyclic existence? Are they true origin? Uh, and the answer is no, they are not a true origin, they're just named as origin. And then number five is uh, why are uh, 
uh, um, these things necessary, these um, um, uh, meditations on uh, the emptiness and, and on the faults of cyclic existence. What, why are they necessary? Now we go to six. Tatanas,Tatana,Kuala,Nana,Domanyemis,Tate,Gumbe,Kuvento,Sebasanji,Sebasanji,Nepoyamanes,Nekuyamu,Kuyamu,Kuyamu,Kuyamu,Kuyam
The only thing that was there was sand. So the child took a handful of sand and offered it to the Buddha. Um, and it states that as a result of this one offering, uh, the child was born as a, a King Ashoka uh, in the future uh, and had many uh, opportunities um, to uh, help with the Dharma. It was a good Dharma King Ashoka. Um, and it all came from just offering the sand. And Shariputra was able to take the sand uh, and transform it into a paint and then paint an entire monastery with it. Um, and this all was because of the motivation of the child. Um, uh, so we see in that story uh, how one's kind of baseline motivation uh, makes an activity be an origin, an actual origin of suffering, or not an origin of suffering. And when we say origin of suffering, it would be uh, um, whether it's creating more cyclic existence or not. Uh, and there are many p places for pilgrimage uh, in um, uh, in Nepal and other places. No, the, the, Bodhagaya. Bodhagaya. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. Bodhagaya and Varanasi in India, where there are um, reliquaries and so forth of, of Ashoka. Um, so a lot of places people go for pil pilgrimage. Uh, still have these relics and so forth of, uh, from King Ashoka's time. What you what Okay. So then it says how how you accumulate karma is explained in two parts: accumulating karma for pleasant feelings and accumulating karma. Uh, for uh, neutral feelings. And then the Rimache churn, the Tingenzi, oh, okay, I see. And then uh, accumulating karma, okay, I apologize. Gonga Mepachik. So accumulating karma for pleasant feelings and accumulating karma for neutral feelings, accumulating karma for pleasant feelings uh, um, has two categories accumulating karma for the pleasure that comes from enjoying desirable objects, sights, sounds, and the like, and then accumulating karma for gaining. Uh, bliss and meditative concentration after you have rejected attachment to external uh, sensual pleasures. Okay, that's a chela, so. That's so what do you do to suba to la nire doa? That's a humble nite. Zuda la subi de bi. You are then cheba lesh on you doa ton. Cachete doa la chapa lunesa. Okay. 
se si va a pensare che il dialogo è 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 il dialogo Sandin, je vais y chiller trois doigts, je vais y aller, 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 je So when we look at accumulating karma uh, for uh, pleasant feelings, it says uh, accumulating karma for the pleasure that comes from enjoying uh, desirable objects, uh, sights, uh, sounds, and the, and the like. Uh, and then a uh, the second category, accumulating karma for gaining bliss in meditative concentration after you have rejected attachment Uh, to external uh, sensual pleasures. Um, and then the second category uh, is accumulating karma for neutral feelings. Um, so uh, here, uh, these neutral feelings uh, we find uh, where this, um, uh, this occurs at the fourth concentration level uh, and, ab and above, uh, where, where we find uh, this neutral feelings and we find this bliss of meditative concentration that occurs in the first three concentrations uh, but the neutral feelings um, take place uh, as soon as one reaches that fourth level of concentration um, so this is how we're divided into it so meritorious uh, karma if uh, meritorious um, and, uh, so when we look at this first category Uh, it says that um, if you are um, mainly looking for the pleasures of this, this lifetime, then one will engage in non-virtue during this lifetime. If one is looking for the virtues, I mean, of happiness of one's next life or in future lives, uh, then one will accumulate meritorious action. Um, so one meritorious action equals happiness in the future life. Non-meritorious action equals uh, um, sometimes happiness in this life, but in the future life, uh, um, unhappiness. Um, so it's showing how these different um, karmas are created and who creates them. Uh, meritorious, non-meritorious, um, and then uh, invariable or immutable karmas. Uh, meritorious and non-meritorious being desire realm, immu um, invariable or immutable uh, being uh, um, at the uh, level of uh, form or, or formless uh, realm, um, and then the different um, uh, karmas that are gained uh, um, are depending on whether there's actual feeling or not. If there's no form, there's no feeling. So this is why it's accumulation of a neutral for neutral feelings because the formless realm doesn't have feeling. Okay. That Jibba did it Jibba So that was number seven and now we're moved to number eight. Dibala Shamba Lune Shamba Lune Dibi Tamal Wate Sibata Shamba Lune and Tabi Shadow Gosum Gwala Mabra Dushana ta kuyu pensulu shabalu de ngayu sambache tene lu lu na yesu to go go to juba ina shena en kol tarim chanuris tabal tanya nya nya ko tabal to tanya nya nya ko wa jan wat je ba de no okay so i'm just going to read down from where we were so accumulating karma for the pleasure that comes from enjoying desirable objects sights sounds and the like this has two subtypes if your concern is mainly for the pleasures of this lifetime Prior to death, then you accumulate non-meritorious action. If your concern is primarily for the sensual pleasures of future lives, 
you accumulate meritorious action. Accumulating karma for gaining bliss and meditative concentration after you have rejected attachment to external uh, sensual pleasures. If you focus on a meditative object primarily for the sake of blissful feelings that arise from concentration, you accumulate invariable karma uh, leading to rebirth at the level of the first, second, or third meditative stabilizations in the form realm. Accumulating karma for neutral feelings, you might have stopped. Attachment to sensual pleasure, become weary of even of meditative uh, bliss and created karma to have neutral feelings. If so, you will accumulate invariable karma leading to rebirth in the fourth meditative stabilization <coughs> of the form realm or a higher level up to and including the peak of cyclic existence, the highest level of the formless realm. Uh, so these categories are number seven and number eight. This uh, schema, I don't know what that, the scheme, schema? No. Uh. Schema? What? The schema of subdivisions is uh, <coughs> what Basu Bandhu intended to convey in the treasury of knowledge. By his reasoning, when you stop clinging to all cyclic existence and then engage in physical, verbal, and mental virtue for the sake of liberation, you leave cyclic existence behind. I'm sorry, cyclic existence further behind and come closer uh, to liberation. So by doing this, uh, one is able to come closer <coughs> to liberation or nirvana. Number eight. So Basubandu states uh, So we find in all of the texts that uh, once one reaches this um, uh, um, higher level of uh, um, uh, in the, the higher levels of cyclic existence in the form formless uh, realm, then there's no longer any happy feelings. There's no longer this uh, these feelings present. <laughs> So when we look at the outline, it's divided into uh, three categories, how the afflictions arise, how, how you thereby accumulate karma, and then how you die and are reborn. Uh, so we've gone over um, uh, the first category of uh, how the afflictions arise, uh, and then uh, in, in that section there are actually four uh, categories. The first category is... Um, uh, identification of the afflictions, then the um, stages of or the order in which the afflictions arise, uh, and then the faults, uh, I'm sorry, then the causes of the afflictions, and then the faults of the afflictions. And then we get to then ha and how you thereby accumulate karma. Uh, we've gone through that section, and now we have arrived at how you die and are reborn. <laughs> Mm. And so we're going to end here instead of starting a new section. Uh, so if everybody uh, wants to get the prayer book, we'll do the concluding uh, mandala offering and uh, dedication prayer. We'll try and look that up. The fundamental ground is scented with incense and strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, the four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha land and offer it. May all sentient beings enjoy this pure realm. I dedicate whatever virtues I have collected for the benefit of the teachings and of all sentient beings, and in particular for the essential teachings of Venerable Ozandrapa to shine forever. I send forth this jeweled mandala to you, precious Guru. I dedicate all this virtue to emulate the knowledge of the hero Manjushri and likewise Samantabhadra as well. With whatever dedication is praised as supreme by all the conquerors who traverse the three times, I also dedicate all my roots of virtue for the sake of all species deeds. In that pure land surrounded by snowy mountains, you are the source of all benefit and happiness. All powerful, Amiteshvara, Tenzin Yatso, may you stay until samsara's end. 
I pray for the long life of the precious Kenzer Wanda, upholder of scriptural and realizational doctrines, spiritual friend who trained extensively in the five great philosophical texts with exceptional wisdom and perseverance. Tujiru Chikutu shall be the 